Hey guys, Deathfire D coming at you with another tech video. And this one is on remapping your Android wireless keyboard. Um, a lot of people buy these keyboards. I'll show you at the end. The lighting's dark in here, so you won't be able to see it. But a lot of people buy these um, keyboards to use for their Android TV boxes or Kodi boxes or even their computer. They're really useful and they've got a lot of different function keys on them. Unfortunately, the majority of the function keys either don't work or are mapped to the wrong things. I did a lot of research to try and find a way to fix this and there's not a lot you can do if your device is not rooted. Um, but if it is, you can go in and you can edit a few different files to correctly map these devices. If your device is not rooted, well, stay tuned because that's what this video is all about. I am going to show you how to temporary, temporarily remap the keys on your keyboard. Now my device is rooted, so I will eventually go back and correct it for good, but for the sake of just getting my device online and working, I wanted a temporary solution. So I found this app online called MKR, or Multi-Language Keymap Redefiner, and basically it takes over um, the stock Android keyboard. So anytime you click on an input, input box, you see that, that keyboard that pops up on the screen, this replaces that. So if you're attached to whatever keyboard you're using, then this probably isn't the solution for you. But since I use a TV box, I very rarely use the keyboard, so I didn't really care what it looked like or how it functioned as long as I could remap the keys on my wireless keyboard. So once you install the app, you're going to want to go into Android settings and if this screen is different for you, then just go to your normal Android settings. Um, most Android TV boxes look like this though. So you're going to want to go all the way to more settings and you'll get to the settings page. This probably looks familiar to a lot of Android users. Now we're going to scroll down to language and input, which is right, right there. Select that and go down to keyboard and input methods and select current keyboard. By default, the English Android keyboard AOSP is selected. What you're going to want to do is scroll down and select the English multi-language key map redefiner. Once you do that, it allows the app to take over and you can start remapping things. So now we're going to go back to the home screen and open up MKR. Once in here you're going to see a whole bunch of blank pages and up at the top you'll see tabs for like internal dash one and CEC input one and some numbers at the very end that say HID 4555 blah blah blah. Those last numbers chances are are your wireless keyboard. I just kind of went and guessed. I tried each one and when nothing was working I moved on to the next one and found out that the last two do different things for me. I'm not sure why but that's just how it works. So on the last one seemed to be the, the most common one that was working for me. So what I did was, on my keyboard, the home button doesn't do anything, but the E button underneath it acts as a home button. I wanted to fix this so that my home button actually went to the home page. And to do that, I, I selected this Add Remapping button at the very bottom. You'll see it highlighted in blue right now. See right there? Select that. And uh, I'm going to go up here and remove my home key mapping so I can remake it and show you guys. So let's remove it. All right. So now go back down, add remapping, and it's going to wait until you press the key that you want to remap. So I press the home button. 
and you'll see um not sure why that showed up uh, that's not the one i wanted let's try this again remove that go down to mapping and press the home button um hmm Well, as you can see here, when you select the drop down, you'll have a whole bunch of different options to map to whatever key you just pressed. Um, it, you can literally map it to almost anything on your device. Um, there's a, they're also separated into different categories. So you got like the phone section, you have the gamepad section, you have. Uh, media TV section where you can map it to fast forward or pause. Um, t TV option settings. Other, which is like the app switcher. The calculator. Um, the envelope. Uh, let's look for the home. So I think that's at the very bottom. Boop, 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 boop. TV input. See, there's so much. Um, nope. I guess I went too far. You can also use the page up or page down to um, go through this faster. Where are you, home button? So it does work. So I just remapped my home key. So uh, when I actually press the home button, it goes to my home screen now. And uh, you're not limited to just doing like going to the home screen or fast forwarding and stuff. You can also map keys to specific apps. And that's exactly what I did with Cody. I had an envelope button on my keyboard that did absolutely nothing. And I don't really plan to use this for email, so I ended up mapping it to my Cody button. Now, um, there's other buttons on the keyboard that you can map to different apps. Like, some have a media button. You could map that to Cody or Netflix or Hulu or whatever you want. And uh, it's simple as just turning on the apps and going through the list and I'll show you how to turn the apps on if you go down to add remapping and then click on the little gear you'll see some options for the MKR um, app and you'll see this option called show applications show user install apps in the keys combo box if you check that you'll then be allowed to select the apps that you have installed and map them to a key. You can also do this with system apps as well. So you could have something where it opens up settings or any other system app. Um, and there's some other things in here. You can force English, um, old style of switching, um, disable the software keyboard from showing on the the display and you can turn on or off the remappings they've also got this thing at the very bottom where you could test your remap remapped keys to see if they're actually working so if you click that it'll pop up and it'll ask you to press any key so I'm gonna press the home button well it went to the home screen that see that's one drawback that I've run into with this app um, if once you remap it to do something, it might actually do it, and then you'll have to reopen the app to see the output. And as you can see on the screen, well, let me uh, bring the camera up. As you can see on the screen, 
uh, the key const is home, and um, it says is remapped, and it says true next to it. That means that this device is correctly remapped. So we can get out of this now. Let me put the camera back down. And there we go. So we can get out of this now. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Have to do it this way. All right. So we can get out of the app now, and um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can remap pretty much any type of wireless keyboard. So if you have a keyboard or you have a mini keyboard or pretty much anything, you can open this app up. It should be able to find it and then just remap it. Now that's pretty much it, guys. If for whatever reason you don't like MKR, you can always um, turn it off or just uninstall it and your device will go back to the way it was. Oh, one thing. If you do uninstall it, Android should go back to the default keyboard. If it doesn't though, you're going to want to go back and do, you're going to want to change, go back into language and input and change it back to the Android keyboard. Because if you don't, then nothing will work. So only do that if you uninstall the app. Well, before you uninstall the app. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helped some of you guys out. Um, yeah, if you like this, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, the section below. And I hope to have some more videos out for you. Peace out, guys.